What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. In this one, we are going to be looking at how you can build a really good team for really not a whole lot of stubs. This is going to be under 100k we actually spent on this team and it is phenomenal. It is really, really good. I'm really happy at how we constructed this and these are really the best budget cards in the game that you guys should be giving a look if you guys have not yet. Before we get into into this one though make sure to leave a like down below if you guys have been enjoying the videos and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet let's see if we can maybe hit 33,000 today um you guys have just been so supportive this year and i seriously cannot thank you guys enough for that and with that being said let's get into this one so uh, a couple ground rules that i want to lay on you first um I did include uh, I did include cards that you can grind for, but I made sure they're not uh, excessive grinds. What I consider an excessive grind is something like a Jackie Robinson, something that takes a good deal of time. And I also didn't include any team affinities within here. Uh, I know team affinities really are some of the best budget cards, but um, for some people, it's a bit tougher to get. Showdown is not for everybody. I personally love it and have gotten quite good at it, but some people it is difficult for. The exchanges are kind of expensive now and if you play march to october that's probably at least five hours so that's kind of a long grind and also i kept in mind on average, I think it's a good spot that most people or a good amount of people watching this are probably at about level one silver. So all the packs that you earn up to there, I kept in mind. And let's get into this video. So um, the best budget catcher that you can get is at level 40 or the show classics pack. That is Gary Sanchez. I think that this is a really good card. 100 plus power per side. He only has 41 contact against lefties, but that's not horrible because he still has uh, 50 vision which is not terrible especially on the lower difficulties which I'm assuming you know talking about a budget squad we're not probably not playing on World Series at least not yet and uh, you know even if you are really good you can do very well with these cards and 80 arm strength good enough to throw some guys out average to slightly above average speed at 49 this Gary Sanchez there's no reason to spend stubs on a catcher currently he is by far the best budget catcher that you guys can get get um, moving on to first base we're going to be looking at another free card this is going to be ryan zimmerman really like this card as well he's part of the new player of the month program and uh he is phenomenal you know 99 94 power against lefties he's going to hit lefties really really well 86 77 power 54 vision pretty good fielding at first base 73 fielding 44 speed really solid card all the way around i like the looks of this one a lot and i always do remember enjoying ryan zimmerman's swing from the past that i've used him second base we're going to spend our first stubs this is a 24 and a half k uh purchase i put all these prices um they'll be on the screen but i figured them out all before uh just before i went live with this video so Cattel Marte, i think it's just super good budget wise because he's a switch hitter um and this lineup is also going to be very versatile as well 83 91 contact 65 80 power 83 vision that is really good right now he's gonna have silver defense at second base with 62 speed and 78 are pretty good on relays I just think uh, second base is kind of a short spot for um, good budget players and Cattell Marte always plays above his ratings as well and for 24 and a half K I think that's a pretty good purchase moving on to shortstop I'm going to recommend that you guys put your creative player here I'm gonna give you guys a screenshot of what even a gold creative player could look like um, with pretty average equipment this stuff is a lot um, gold for the most part some of it you get throughout the Jackie Robinson program which is free 90 arm 81 speed 87 fielding 89 87 contact 85 vision and mid 70 and mid 60s power there's some this is basically a team affinity that you can get right away all you have to do really to get this gold is do a couple of the creative player collections and then the mish uh the moments uh that's very simple and then once you play online more you can work to get this card even better so 
your cap is a great uh, great guy to put right there. Uh, at your level 10, where you get your first evolution player, I think Eddie Matthews has to be the choice. He is so good, especially for me. Um, 85, 105 splits against right-handers, 84 power against left. Really good vision at 90, 75 fielding, 52 speed. These are my numbers, 90 at-bats, 13 home runs, have a 1,300 OPS. He has been a monster for me, highly recommend. Uh, moving on to left field, this is where I would go for this specific build for your first max level pack, and that is Reggie Jackson. Um, of course, he's not going to have the best defense. He's only going to have 64 in this scenario um, if you do put him in left field, but that's where I would put him. He doesn't have great fielding to begin with, and that's usually where you can hide guys, uh, but he's by far the best offensive player that you can pick out of that pack, and with the budget quota, like I said, it's 100k. There are some things that I had to kind of concede a bit, and defense is one of those. He does still have speed, he still has 80 arm, which is passable, but you're really getting this guy for the offense, and that is going to help you out a ton, and I think this is the best guy that you can go for in the first pack if you're to do uh, kind of like a 100k build. The next guy I want to talk about is Curtis Granderson. Uh, he was one of the first free players that came out, and he's probably one of the best. 82, 100 power, 48 vision, 67 speed, 79 fielding, 74 arm. All of these guys in our outfield are going to have at least like mid 60s to 70 speed, which is pretty good range. Um, none of them are platinum glovers by any means, but they are definitely still pretty good. And Curtis Granderson has a phenomenal swing, mind you. And then Joe Carter is who we're going to round out our starting lineup with uh there are other options i was looking at Aaron judge i was looking at mookie betts but for 30k that joe carter goes for only 31 and a half thousand stubs he is so good offensively still has 70 speed silver defense this is in my opinion the best lineup that you can field for about 100k this is how i would do it and i think it is really solid uh, moving on to our bench the first guy that i want to put there is a first baseman uh, who can also play catcher if need be that's carlos santana uh, i always like to have a backup catcher there's not really great backup catches right now so somebody a switch hitter versatile mid 70s power against both sides if you do have to take out gary Sanchez he can still hold his own at catcher uh, next we're going to be looking at an infielder that i like to have one of the best budget guys that you can possibly get uh, glaber torres mid 80s power against both uh, can play second third and short so versatile not going to play them well but versatile and good hitting wise this is really what you're getting your bench players for after all Next up, you always want to have a speed utility guy, and there is nobody better than Trey Turner. Uh, he's going to have pretty much maxed out speed, can play the infield, middle infield, center field as well. Has pretty good contact, you know, 78, 84, nothing crazy, but the speed is really what you're looking for. If you are in a tight situation, late game, you need that run. If you have a runner on second base, a single can win it. You want a guy like Trey Turner who can also field a lot of positions. Uh, next up we're going to be looking at a power lefty bat who's going to kill righties there's really two options you could either go joey gallo or you could go adam dunn they're pretty similar i think adam dunn is a bit better of a hitter because he has considerable uh, more contact and power and vision against lefties but he's not as good of a defensive player i'm just going to put joey gallo for here uh, but either of them are very good only about 2,000 stubs uh, carlos santana was one and a half glaber 1,000. trey turner one and a half and then gallo and done are either 2k a piece then finally nelson cruz you really can't go wrong with this um your bench you really want a lot of guys with a lot of hitting stats you know you would never want to play this card in your field um but this if i do say so myself is an absolutely great lineup and of course it can be very balanced I'm not going to organize it but this is a great offense and now let's move on to pitchers. The guy that you want to pick, obviously, at your level 80 pack is going to be Corey Kluber. The sinker is a blur. It is so effective. A lot of people have a lot of trouble picking that pitch up. And he is so accurate. 95 walks per nine. I think he has like 85 control on each and every single one of his pitches. He doesn't blow you away with velocity. But he has a sneaky 96 mile an hour fastball at times, which is nice. He has the best per nines that you're going to find in the game. And he is 
is just so good. You have to pick Corey Kluber at level 80. The next guy I would pick, you can technically get him for free. You're going to get one of these legend packs, I do believe, at some point, and that's Greg Maddox. You're going to notice a trend. I have a lot of sinker ballers on here because the sinker is very overpowered yet again. Um, and this card is great. You know, it doesn't throw very hard, but the circle changeup is a nice offset um, from the sinker because it is eight miles an hour different and it still has a good amount of movement compared to a regular changeup. And the curveball, I have a lot of success with. I've really enjoyed this Greg Maddox. Um, and 80s per nines, 86 block per nine, pitcher control is very important. And I made sure to keep a note of that for all of my selections. Forrest Whitley is really good. Greg Maddox is 7.5K. Forrest Whitley is only 11,000. And he is great. His pitches are literally the best that you could possibly conjure up. A sinker, a 12-6, a slider, a changeup, and a cutter. And his sinker goes, I don't believe he has the outlier quirk. Uh, but he's still going to throw it 95, 96 miles per hour. 97 K9. He is really good. I've tried hitting against him a couple times. Eventually, you do pick him up. But he is really hard to get the first couple times that you do face him. Felix Hernandez, another great budget card. Always really good budget card. Uh, sinker, sliding curveball, changeup, four-seamer, and a slider coming in at 8.5 thousand stubs. Real solid. Going to throw gas 99 miles per hour on that four-seam. And good per nines. 84 hit nine, 83 K9. Not as much control, but still really one of the best budget pitchers that you can get and then finally we're gonna put in bob gibson right here not a particularly big fan of this card his control is pretty wonky in my opinion from using him in the moments uh but he does throw gas i will i will preface that you don't really need five starters so that's why i put another free guy right here uh really unless you pitch your guys 100 pitches a game by the time you play three games that fourth one comes around or rather by the time you finish four games that fifth one comes around you're pretty much guaranteed to have the first guy back up in stamina so you really only need four starters let's go on and move to our relievers starting with the top guy i'm gonna put in carry wood he's another free guy that you're going to get and he's pretty solid you know a four seamer that comes in at 98 miles per hour a good 12 6 and slurve the slurve really acts as a slider in this case 106 k per nine really good car that you're going to find right there uh, roberto osuna he's gonna only be about 2,000 stuff and he throws gas yet again gonna throw 99 miles per hour has a good change up with 15 miles per hour differential really throws your opponent off guard uh good per nines 90 hit nine 86 walk per nine for a fireballer that's usually pretty good and has a really hard to hit slurve as well another righty we're gonna look at as rich gossage this is another card that you can get for free in one of those legend flashback packs he has a sinker which of course you already know at this point is going to be really important. Uh, he's going to throw 95 miles per hour. Good per nines, 80s across the board, really good. Um, I've always enjoyed Rich Gossage cards. I think he has a really good wind up and it's pretty easy to release it in the green or on, on the green. You know what I'm talking about. So you get a perfect timing on your pitch. And I just really like Rich Gossage cards a lot usually. And then my last righty I want to put on here is going to be Nick Anderson. Um, representing my Tampa Bay Rays yet again. Again, he is a sinker baller and he throws it hard. He's going to throw a 95, 96 mile an hour sinker, 99 mile an hour fastball. Doesn't have a changeup, but two breaking balls that have a good amount of movement on them. 99K per nine. Nick Anderson is tough to hit. I face him in BR sometimes. I face him sometimes in ranked. He is pretty dang good. Highly recommend. Moving on to our lefties. Amir Garrett's ideally... I would like to have Alrodis Chapman right here because I think he's better. He throws harder. He has more control by a bit, I think. He has better per nines and he has a sinker. But Amir Garrett is solid. Most people, if you face like a casual player playing on a TV, they're not going to hit a, a fastball above 100 miles per hour a lot of the time. So if you mix that four seam and the slider together, he's going to be really good. And you can get him for absolutely free yet again. Um, and then the two other lefties we're going to look at is going to be Taylor Rogers right here. 
He has a sinker. He doesn't have a changeup, which kind of sucks, but he has two other breaking balls, and he throws the sinker really hard. And kind of a funky delivery on Taylor Rogers. Sometimes hard to pick up. And the last lefty we're going to look at is going to be Andrew Miller. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot of great lefties that you can have. He doesn't have the best pitches, doesn't throw particularly hard. The two seam can kind of act like a sinker with his funky delivery. Um, and the slider's good, has a lot of break, has a lot of movement. And that's going to be our team. Like I said, I think this is really good. You can do this for under 100,000 stubs at level silver one. And I think this is great. If you go online, you're going to win a lot of games with this team. The only downside is the outfield isn't great defense wise, but you're going to hit a lot of bombs. You're going to have a ton of power, good amount of speed. Your lineup is very versatile with three righties, three lefties, two switch hitters, a good bench, um, really good starters and a good bullpen. There's no flaws really to this team. Let me know if there's other budget diamonds that I missed that you guys highly recommend. Really curious to see if you guys have some favorites. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed putting this video together. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks, I'm Saudi.